it's time so, for new. First All right, up. so we got some MA keycaps. Um, we've carried DSA keycaps or XDA keycaps. But just do uh, all the colors right now? Yeah, so we have okay. white, we have cream white. I'll show you down the overhead too. We've got red, kind of like a nice cherry red. We've got this kind of cyan blue, light blue color. Keep going, the gumdrop deliciousness. Blue, blue, blue. We've got like an orange, a deep orange, deep yellow orange. We've got like a creamsicle, nice orangey yellowish color. Yeah. And we've got a blink of purple. A lot. And we've got a, a kind of a pastel pink, lots of colors. So, um, can you show this on the other hand? Oh, yeah, I can show that. So, yeah, we just have a bunch of colors. Hold on, so many colors. Um, okay, so we can go to the overhead and I can show some of these off. So, all these different colors available, kind of a mint green. This is a little bit pale. Let me see if I can. Okay. Um, so each one of these is MX compatible. It's got that cross uh, at the bottom, so you know it's um, MX, so you can use it with Cherry MXs, you can use this with Gatorons, Kales, whatever, uh, as long as they have that kind of standard uh, cross um, at the bottom. Um, all the buttons are totally symmetric, and you know what I like about them? They have this kind of this cool, like, they're square at the bottom, and then they kind of come up to this almost circular shape. Um, it's got a little bit, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's got this little 60s, 70s kind of feel to it. Um, it's a little bit more old school. Um, they're chunky, uh, but I like these keycaps. I think the colors are really good. Um, like this purple. It's not like a bright purple. It's, it's kind of a, a nice chill purple. Um, and the, the mint green is also quite nice. Um, so because they're symmetric, you know, you can put them either way. I'll say, of course, they come blank. As you can see, uh, you get five per. And they don't have any writing on them. You can write on them. You can also attach a sticker. Or you can do some sort of, uh, uh, you know, embossing if you like. Um, I don't think you should laser these because they're probably made with uh, PVC. And so they're not going to laser very nicely. I'd recommend a sticker or just you can draw on them or just leave them like as is. But so these are called uh, MA. Uh, profile. So just uh, keep that in mind. They're they're much taller than uh, DSA or XDA profile. Okay. Next up, Lady Ada, is. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got the Rack Laura Hat Pie Four Enclosure. This is just the enclosure uh, that you would fit a Pie Four into. Again, you know the Pie Four switched around the Ethernet and USB, and there's two HDMI. So if you want to use the Rack Wireless. Um, Laura hat, which looks like, it just looks kind of like a square. So I'll show it on, on the overhead in a little bit. Um, you would use this case. This case, it's a very nice uh, case with the anodized aluminum, and it's got all the slots and holes uh, to use the um, Laura hat. So let me, let me show it. And it's, it's not attached inside of it, but then maybe y'all you, you, can understand what I'm going for here. Okay. I've got these keycaps still hanging out. So this is uh, the Pi 4, and you can see it's bolted out of the bottom, and it's got it's a nice it's a nice case. And then um, over here, you see all uh, these holes and slots. Well, if you attach the um, hat, this is the Laura concentrator hat, so it allows you to make a uh, Laura gateway, an eight-channel Laura gateway with a Raspberry Pi. Um, these holes let you mount all the antenna ports onto it. So you know this this you know you don't have to use it with the Laura hat, but like it's kind of designed for it and it sort of makes the most sense. So I do recommend it. Um, and of course we also have a kit. You can go to the kit next. And the kit gets you the case, the hat, and a power supply. And it, you would basically just add in a Pi 4. The reason why the Pi 4 isn't included, um, whereas before we, we would try to include a Pi, is there's four different kinds of Raspberry Pi 4 with one, two, four, and eight gigabyte of memory. And you know, some people might want more and they might want less. We don't want to assume. So instead, you know, you just add on the Pi 4, we have them in the shop um, to make your LoRa gateway. And then once you've had this gateway, you know, of course use the Pi 4 as a LoRa to internet gateway. Um, you can then add other sensors that have LoRa radios to send data to the concentrator, which then uploads it to the internet, and now you've got your mesh network. Good for you. Okay, next up. Next up from Solder Party, uh, if you have a Pi Pico and you're like, I want to use the 
um, keyboard feather wing from Solder Party and you don't want to use it with a feather, you want to use it with Pico, this little couple dollar board is a little adaptive thing, comes with some header and you just sort of solder it in place with the attached header and here you go, all the pins are rerouted. You could also use this for like generic feather wings, by the way. Um, you don't have to use it for um, just the uh, keyboard feather wing, but like, boy, it's designed exactly for it. It's got the mounting holes and everything ready to go. Okay, and uh, this isn't the start of the show, but it's, it's, it's up there because we have uh, a Trinky we're debuting, but I wanted to give this one special attention. This is the DigiKey. Key. Yes, this was featured <laughs> in key. AdaBox uh, 19. Uh, we, you know, we found a supplier that would make us these custom keycaps, and we're just like so in love with them. So, DigiKey yeah. logo looks awesome yeah, as a keycap. And these are the ones that we have a couple left over from the you know the AdaBox. We always get extras in case we have to do replacements. Yeah. Um, we have a couple extra DigiKeys, of course, stocking this, and we're stocking it. Um, if you have a keyboard, um, this is you know Cherry MX compatible, like almost every key we have. Um, it has this glow through design, so if you have an RGB keyboard or backlit keyboard, of course it's going to look extra good, but it also looks good without, um, with the cool modernized uh, DigiKey logo. Uh, so check it out on the DigiKey site or at Adafruit, and uh, you can pair it up with our other cool custom keycaps, including the Adafruit one. And All right, here we go. World premiere. More Trinkies. Star of the product, star of the, <laughs> star of the show this week for the products, besides you, Lady Ada. Yes. Our team. Our staff, our it's customers. It's a new Trinky. There's Trinkies. This a one is Trinkie the is Proximity Trinky. Yeah. So the Proximity Trinky um, is kind of the last Trinky of my first batch. I mean, we'll do more Trinkies, but this was the first kind of batch of Trinkies I put together. Um, this uh, Trinky, it features a SAMD21. Uh, it's a very low cost and small microcontroller board. Um, plugs into USB-A and it features capacitive touch, uh, some NeoPixels, and as jellies, elegant waving shows you it has a proximity sensor as well it has an ap ds uh, 9960 um, one of our favorite sensors it's a low cost it's only like a dollar or so and it has um, color proximity light and uh, even gesture gesture sensor honestly i don't think is nothing we're at home about but it does have it um, but it's really good at proximity and color and light that's uh, what it's it's excellent for it uh, has built-in ir leds and detectors and then um you know, you can see how the color light does not interfere, interfere with the IR light, which is kind of nice. So you can have both these NeoPixels shining as well as um, uh, the proximity, the IR light coming off of the proximity sensor uh, to let you do distance sensing. And I thought this would be cool because you can plug it into your computer and then, you know, you can have this new interface um, that most computers don't have. You know, you can have mouse and keyboard and sometimes there's capacitive touch, but you rarely have, you know, a, um, proximity sensing element. We saw that like Cano made a sensor like this, but I think it got discontinued. Uh, so we thought it would make for a great yeah. Trinkie. So I thought I'd show a quick demo um, on the overhead. Yeah, you could control a volume knob, um, a volume slider. All sorts of stuff. You can do HID yeah. and uh, MIDI or, you know, have it, you know, you can yeah. run Arduino or CircuitPython Turn on pages. it. Um, okay, so actually this is, uh, yeah, so if you see if my hand gets closer and farther, it's just making brighter. the LED brighter. And then uh, if I press this button, I can change the color. So it's just a demo showing um, capacitive touch, uh, NeoPixels, and proximity. Um, but, you know, the APDS is a really well-established, uh, friendly and happy sensor um, that people have used at Arduino and CircuitPython. So I think it's, it's an easy one to quickly integrate. And um, the proximity sensing, I, I think, is quite solid. It's one of the nicer surface mount proximity sensors that I've used. So it's a good way if you want to add, like, simple gestures or motion or, um, you know, hand movement up and down. And then there is a gesture sensor built. In. There is a gesture capability for doing side-to-side -side gesture sensing. But it's kind of a pain. I don't, I don't really like it. it. It requires, like, exactly the right speed. And it's hard to, you know, with practice you can get good at it. But um, I, I think for color sensing, light sensing, and proximity, this is this is great. And you just plug it into USB, so it's very easy to use. Boom. Okay. You got sensing. Any computer. And that is the new product for this week. Thank you, Bat Trinky. Ooh.